This is just a quick video on a guide to flow rates for the various different nozzle types found in our backpack and compression sprayers. There are four basic types of nozzle that you'll find on backpack and compression sprayers. Firstly, we have the adjustable cone nozzles, and these produce a hollow cone spray pattern. And as the name would suggest, they're adjustable. So you can twist a nozzle to produce a different spray pattern and twist it all one way, they'll produce a jet of spray, twist it all the other way, they'll produce a nice finely misted hollow cone pattern. Secondly, we have the standard fan tips. Now these produce a flat fan spray pattern, so a line of spray, and these are color coded for flow rates. And you'll commonly see yellow, green, blue, and red tips being used on our sprayer. And they also come with different spray angles. Again, commonly this can be 60 degree or 110 degree spray angles. Next, we have deflector fan nozzles, and these operate in a slightly different way. They produce their flat fan spray pattern by deflecting the spray off a deflector plate. And this produces a slightly more harder driving spray, slightly more coarsely atomized spray. So this can be useful in, say, windy conditions where you're looking to avoid spray drift, for example. And finally, we have fixed cone tips. Now these can be either hollow cone or full cone and they're non-adjustable nozzles that produce a fixed spray angle cone pattern. So what are the flow rates from these nozzles? Firstly we need to understand what pressure we're measuring the flow rate at because any spray nozzle will produce a flow rate that is dependent on the pressure that it actually sees. The higher the pressure, the higher the flow rate, the lower the pressure, the lower the flow rate. So in order to compare different nozzles, we need to standardize on a particular pressure. And that standard for various historical reasons is 40 PSI, 40 pounds per inch, which is 2.75 bar. For the adjustable cone nozzles, we have these in four different sizes. Now, quick note on size. When we're talking about size of nozzle, we don't mean the physical size, we're talking about the flow rate through the nozzle. So all of the nozzles of different inverted commas sizes will all fit on the same spread. They have the same fittings for them. The adjustable cone nozzles come in four different flow rates or sizes. The black nozzle delivers 0.21 liters a minute, the red one 0.3 liters a minute, the green one 0.41 liters a minute, and the white one 0.52 liters a minute. And this is all at 40 PSI. So the black tip adjustable cone nozzle will deliver just under half the flow rate of the white one at any given pressure. For the, all of the fixed nozzles types, the flat fan, the deflector flat fan, and the fixed cone nozzles, these are all color coded and conform to an international standard. And they also have a number coding which dictates the flow rate as well. So a green tip is an 015 nozzle, a blue is an 03 nozzle, a yellow is an O2 nozzle, a red is an O4 nozzle. And this number actually is the flow rate at 40 PSI in US gallons per minute. So if you've ever wondered what those numbers actually mean on the nozzles, that's what they mean. Now obviously we don't use US gallons per minute here in the UK, but you can convert these easily to liters per minute at say one bar. And you don't have to worry about that. We've done all those conversions for you. And in this table, you can see a comparison between the various different nozzles we've mentioned, both the adjustable cone and the color coded fan nozzles and see what flow rates they deliver at one bar in liters per minute. And as you can see, the adjustable hollow cone nozzles, they tend to produce quite a lot lower flow rates than the fan and fixed nozzles. Now, why is flow rate important? Well, it's obviously it's vitally important for dosing, but we'll have another video on dosing and spray angles in this series. But this is just a quick video on decoding and demystifying the flow rates and the numbers that appear on these nozzles for all of the different nozzles you'll be using on your backpack and compression sprayers. And in our next video, we'll look at spray angles and how this might affect calibration.